hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video i will show you how you can use the variables in the set analysis so set analysis videos i am pretty sure that you have already seen it which i have posted earlier if not i would really recommend uh, before watching this video because it's in important that you understand the concept of set analysis so as i have explained earlier set analysis helps us achieve the custom business rules for example uh, we want to show overall sales but uh, along with the sales of a particular product or a particular geographic role um, so that we can make some comparison side by side in situations like this which is again a simple one but you can have a complex situation and you can have a complex statement of set analysis so going back to that uh, simple situation if you want to do you can do you can take help of set analysis so a set analysis expression looks like this here what we are doing we are just saying that uh, give us a sum of sales for product category furniture so we are customizing the sum statement with the help of set analysis now what i want is i want to re uh, remove the impact of this furniture category because it may happen in future that instead of furniture you have some other category and to have a good maintenance of my formulas as well as uh, situations like that I want to make it dynamic so what I want to do is I want to specify a variable V product category and I want to give a name technology and here I can just go in and change it and wherever a formula like this is used like in 10 15 20 different visualization it will change automatically so my uh, my application is optimized and uh, I have to do a very less maintenance of my application now how I apply that's a tricky part so what is the syntax for that here is the one so what we are saying if you see sum of product category up until is fine but within these brackets instead of saying furniture within the single quotation we are using single quotation and instead of furniture we are saying first is dollar then you have these opening and closing bracket then equals to sign then a dollar sign again and then the v product category that's the straight not i would say very straightforward but a required syntax to use the variable within the set analysis so now let's say after two months if i want my user wants to see the product category not technology but let's say something else like office furniture uh, they can just go ahead and change the category and all of the visualization will change that's number one number two is we may have a sort of um, what if analysis where this product category variable we are associating with some sort of an user input where they can select technology or they can mention technology furniture office furniture they can go ahead and go ahead and uh, keep seeing the changes and make some comparative analysis dynamic which will help them a lot to understand and uh, reduce a lot of back and forth to that is coming to you in terms of request to keep changing the analysis so let's do it quickly i will just go into the click sense application i will go into the edit mode and i will come here in the variable and i will create uh, v product uh, category and uh, let's uh, define the category as technology for now description is fine i will click outside and my technology is created the the variable is created with the definition of technology so remember the variable name v product category this category is just c a t e g and close it so here i have selected this already selected this uh, particular table here if you remember from my previous video we are using this variable to show the sales but in the second one let's show the variable the set analysis with variable so this is the first this is the second i'll go into effects and i will remove this and i will say sum of sales that's a straightforward now let's add the set analysis by adding the brackets angle bracket and then saying product category equals to open the brackets open and closing 
quotes then dollar then opening and closing bracket then equals to sign then dollar sign then again opening and closing brackets and then saying uh, specifying the variable v product underscore c a t e g and just to make sure that it is fine i will go into variables and v product product underscore underscore c a t e g c a t e g c is capital absolutely fine because if i make any mistake over here my my front end the visualization will be screwed and i would be like something is wrong with this ad analysis or with the formula or what else so just be very very cautious what you are doing in terms of specifying such complex statements so apply and now over here i have only technology sales so let me click on done here this is my overall sales which is like 4.2 million for 2009 but if you see this is not formatted but uh, if i make it out then it is like 1.7 million for technology so this this is how it will help me do the comparison and i will make it more and more dynamic based on how i how my user wants to see it but that's an example i wanted to show you about how you can use the variables within the set analysis a very important topic and i'm pretty sure that uh, you will going to use it a lot when you go a little bit uh, or when you become a little bit mature and your user become mature in terms of what they want to see uh, and uh, you are going to use it a lot in that case so that's pretty much it i have for you in this video and i will meet you in the new video uh, with a new topic